Hello friends, today we're going to install the EVE Thermo on this classical radiator valve and afterwards we're going to connect it with the thermo control box as well. Welcome to this new video. Before we start I have to mention that EVE sent me this both products in order to show it on my channel but as always I give you my honest opinion. Now normally the EVE Thermo isn't compatible with the Joco Mini as the size of the valve isn't the same. There are some adapters in the box but even those adapters are only Danvos and aren't compatible with Joco Mini. But therefore I found this adapter on Amazon. I will share the link in my video description but when you search simply for Joco Mini and M30 you will find adapters that are suitable. I paid about 10 euros only for this and it will make my EVE Thermo compatible. Now in order to remove this Joker Mini valve you first open it up and then sometimes you can just pull it off and if that doesn't work you pop this little nail out first. There you go. Now it's installed, we can still action this button and now let's install the EVE Thermo on top. So in the box we have the EVE Thermo itself, we have the batteries, there are some adapters as well. But we don't need the adapters right now. You can see that those are all Danvos adapters. I suppose that this will mean calibrating. Now with the batteries installed in the EVE Thermo, we're going to an application. Accessories plus we add the new code. And you can see it is a matter code, so you can add it to every environment. Apple HomeKit, Amazon Alexa, Google Home. So now it's added to HomeKit. Here I can set if my valve is upwards or downwards. In the same time you can hear it is calibrating and now it shows on the EVE Thermo MO from mount. So now we can mount it on top, first press it uh, several times. And now you can simply screw it on top. And there you go. So you see that I didn't need any tools besides the screwdrivers and that was just to remove 
my manual valve and with the little adapter I found on Amazon I was able to install the EVE Thermo on a Joco Mini and there you go it's 18 and a half degrees in my sleeping room right now and if I want I can set the temp a little bit higher and I have directly the temperature displayed on the valve itself as well so you can see it is a really easy to place device red dot winner for the design and as it is matter compatible it works in every environment now the eve thermal wall detect the room temperature and you can set the room temperature directly on the valve itself or with Siri or with automations of course. Now the temperature detection is right over here but that is not always the best temperature for the room itself as the radiators often like here just next to the window it's the temperature in the middle of the room that you want to measure and therefore you can use this EVE thermal control. So this little box is Another way to control your temperature on a distance, it is portable and with this little device the temperature will be detected on the place you really want and not on the valve itself. If you saw my EVE weather videos, you should recognize this kind of box. It is the same size, but, and that's really nice. This one is rechargeable with a USB-C cable. Now it indicates that it needs to be powered. So let's do so. Now let's add it to HomeKit as well. So you go back to the EVE app application, go to the configuration tab, accessories plus and we scan the matter code that is also in the box so it's in the same room of course we keep the name I can link it to my radiator and I can link it up even up to five EVE thermos. So if you have one room with multiple radiators, you can link one control box to five radiator vents. So that's really nice. Here you can see the battery percentage and that it is charging. And now you can see that in HomeKit, my EVE Thermo is installing. And on the device itself, you can see the arrow. Here we can see that the radiator is active as the temperature is 18 degrees right now but it wants to heat up to 18.5 it's already easy to use you just tap the arrows to see the temperature and here we have the small little control box just push on the button and you can set the temperature you want push again and the temperature is set and it's reacting right now now to double check you have to go into the settings, accessories and check if the EVE Thermo control is linked to the EVE Thermo, which we can see right over here. So now it's the EVE Thermo control that is used as a reference point so we can change the correction of the EVE Thermo to set it to zero degrees. Design is really robust. 
you can feel this good quality it's made in germany as all the eve product line privacy is a top priority so nothing goes to the cloud so for the sake of the video just let put it on top right now so as these devices are using the thread protocol it reinforces your old thread network in your house so that's really great as well now in order to control your radiator right now with the smart thermostat van it's really easy you can set up programs within the eve application you can use siri but you can also set automation so whenever you leave the home it will automatically turn off or when you come back home it will automatically turn on now within the eve thermo there's also a sensor that senses sudden temperature drops so like now when the window is open it won't turn on as it senses the temperature drop but of course if you use the door and window sensor you can even control this more precisely that when the window is opened it will never activate so really clean easy to install solution of eve home so you can buy the control for 80 euros eve thermo for 80 euros and the pack comes at 160 euros so let me know in the comments what you think about this solution don't forget to share like and subscribe and i'll see you in the very next video bye bye